How's it going, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi. I'm Yemi here today. Today, I'm bringing you guys a battle against Sai Rush the Great. I totally butchered his name. Um, he is also known in game as Kush. <laughs> anyway, he's rocking up with Metagross, called Fable, Hydreigon, Blastoise, Volcarona, and Tauros, and that got ourselves a little bit different of a team. You see that Smeargle, you see the Malamar, and then the rest of the squad. <laughs> and I don't want to get into too much details about this team, but looking at our opponent's team, I do want to get Sticky Webs up, and Smeargle does get Sticky Webs. So, um, that's my lead. Let's get this battle started. Alrighty, he has decided to lead out with Clefable, as we're leading off with Smeargle. Now, Smeargle does a few things for us but right now all I want to do is go for the spore and put this Clefable asleep ideal turn for me is if Clefable decides to set up stealth rocks uh, we do outspeed which is it, it's good that's fine that's great if we do outspeed um, we do have a synergy on this team where if I get sticky webs up on my side of the field, Malamar does outspeed just about everything. Um, but how to get that off sometimes is a little tricky. But we're going to get some sticky webs up. As Clefable just decides to wake up and sets up Stealth Rocks. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Um, I don't mind putting Clefable back to sleep. I really don't. Um, we do know we outspeed. Um, he's probably potentially switching out. He doesn't have anything really that wants to go to sleep though. So yes, let's throw that spore out there. Put something else to sleep. <laughs> let's see. Blastoids. You know what? Hey Blastoids, how's it going? Getting caught up in the sticky webs. Very interesting. Uh, here, take a spore while, while we're at it. I'll take. I'll be happy to give that to you, my friend. I will be happy to give you a nice little spore. You can go ahead, and take yourself a nice little nap. Let's go for court change. All right. So now the sticky webs are on my side of the field, and the stealth rocks that they set up is on their side of the field. I'm gonna reset up the sticky webs though, on their side of the field. So basically, other than like a Pokemon like Hydreigon that has Levitate and anything that's above the ground they're gonna get their speed lowered. Malamar on the other hand with the contrary though will be getting a speed boost but we're not gonna worry about that right now we're gonna go straight into Donkey Kong aka the Rillaboom and uh, we're gonna see what we can do I do know this Donkey Kong is a female um, this is Donkey Kong's wife I guess uh, I don't know but <laughs> besides the point besides that point <laughs> We're going to go ahead, send out the Rillaboom. We're going to be threatening this Blastoids. That's for sure. Uh, we can't put nothing else asleep, obviously. Uh, Volcarona is a pretty easy switch for our opponent to go into. And honestly, I don't mind. We are Choice Banded. I don't mind making the safe play, though. Let's go for U-Turn, predicting the switch. He does stay in with the Blastoids. He was just going to let us take that out. That is actually rather interesting. That is actually rather interesting. <laughs> Guess trying to burn some sleep turns. Um, Cause now I don't know who to go into. I'm gonna go into Vaporeon. Basically flip turn out into back into Rillaboom or something. It's a kind of a safer switch to go into the Vaporeon here. We'll see what we can do though. Blastoise does wake up. Yep, I'm kind of glad we went for Vaporeon as they get the rabbit spin off. Okay, okay, hey, we still got Smeargle alive, so it's not the end of the world. So we're good, we're good. Um, I honestly don't know what Blastoids can do to a Vaporeon. I don't imagine you being able to do too much to us, especially since we are more like a special wall. Um, you got your Rapid Spin off. I'm honestly predicting you to want to switch. Granted, I thought you were going to switch the last turn and you didn't, so my, my predictions are a little bit off right now. But he does switch this time into Clef Fable. Okay. Want to reset up those Stealth Rocks, I'm assuming. 
And we go back into Smeargle, basically. We can go back into uh, Smeargle. We don't care about taking the sticky webs at all. <laughs> we don't care that we are a little bit slower than the Clefable. If we are slower than Clefable, that's absolutely fine. We just, I want to put something to sleep. I want to set up sticky webs back up on their side of the field. You know, make things, make things good again. Let's see what they decide to do. We do, we still outspeed, which is hilarious. Smeargle over here. This is a timid Smeargle, so I mean, with less speed, we actually are relatively fast, which I was shocked whenever I was testing this team out on uh, Showdown on how fast uh, Smeargle is, especially against like these walls, you know? Alright, so second time's a charm. We got Sticky Webs back up on their side of the field. Let's see what they decide to do. As we go ahead and switch on out, I don't want to take a Moonblast. I can probably go into Volcarona. And we could probably start Quiver Dancing. I think that's probably a safe option. Volcarona on this team is carrying the heavy duty boots because the idea of my team is to get the Sticky Webs back up on our side of the field. Clefable just wakes back up. Clefable waking up like a madman, man. <laughs> All right, all right. Special attack drops too, really? <laughs> well, do we just go on the offensive here? Do we go on the offensive? Let's go for that fiery dance and see what we can do. Because I mean, we got. Because honestly, I'm kind of curious to see what this cool fable has in chart in, in the way for us. Thunder wave, okay. So it looks like Vocal Runner may not be sweeping. That's fine. That's not the star of the team anyway. I'm gonna kind of whittle down this Clefable. That's the goal. Um, at least to the point that we can knock this thing out with Malamar. If we can knock this thing out with Malamar, we get the um, boost and everything that we need, then we're in a good spot. Really and truthfully though, I, it looks like Vocalrona is probably gonna end up winning this matchup. Um, unless this Clefable's got another move. Like, I don't know, Clefable's got a lot of coverage. Ooh, it does have Moonlight, though. As it gets all of its HP back. But, I mean, hey, we're getting our special attack boost. Granted, it's probably unaware. It's probably an unaware Clefable. And we're kind of in a stalemate, right? We're kind of... Right now, we're sitting in this little stalemate. As they now set up Stealth Rocks. Which are fine. We, at this point... I mean, we could court change him. We could court change him. I mean, I'm sure my man's a little bit worried about that. Um, like I said, unaware could definitely be its ability. And really and truthfully, we don't know until it takes the stuff rock damage. Because it could also be a magic guard. Um, no special attack drop, but we do get fully paralyzed, which I was expecting. Alright, we kind of got him in a decent spot. Decent range. I think we can switch Vocal Runner out because I kind of want to save it. It's still useful, even though being paralyzed. Um, I know the Moonblast is coming. I just want to go into Donkey Kong. The real boom. I'm expecting like a Moonlight or something. Uh, we should be able to come in with Rillaboom and go for a pretty nice, pretty good da good damage on the uh, Wood Hammer. Should knock him out, and we should be in a good spot. But we'll see, we'll see what we can do here. Moonblast coming out, it's not doing that much damage. Anything that wants to switch in on this Wood Hammer too is just not going to like it. Um. This is, I feel like I should Terra, but I want to save my Terra for the uh, Mahomar. So yeah, let's go for that Wood Hammer. See what we can do. I know, I mean, we're 10 minutes in this battle and neither one of us has picked up a KO or anything. We're just now kind of going on the offensive now, you know? Hydreigon coming out and taking out the Wood Hammer. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. 
we let Hydreigon KO us here. It gives us a free opportunity to get Malmar in, but that U-turn did not KO us. Okay, fantastic. That's great. Volcarona's coming in. And you know what? You know what? That's fine. That's that's fine. We get a black hammer of death apparently coming out on that Volcarona. Um Really and truthfully. Is Robin still alive after that recoil? We are. 11 HP. I'm going to stay in. Like I said, I'm practically sacking off Rillaboom at this point. Bug Buzz coming out. I don't have Malmar. The Volcarona is definitely a scary Pokemon. And I don't necessarily want to bring Malmar in on this unless they're set up. That's why we got the Iron Boulder. And in fact, that is our check to Volcarona. Volcarona was a huge problem on the... Um, on the ladder, while well, Iron Boater showed that it had the potential to really mess with Focarona sets. So here we are. We can't. The good old fashioned Mighty Cleave should just pick up the KO, honestly. Um, unless he decides to switch into something. That Metagross could definitely come on the end. You bring out the Metagross, though, we're in a good spot. Yep, there it is. Metagross is coming in. And what? We're expecting a Meteor Mash or something psychic, right? To definitely take up care of our um, Meteor Mash. Would I even do it, though? We are wrong. Yeah, okay. I could see that. Me Meteor Mash isn't bad. But it is time. We're going to bring out the Malmar, we're going to take any attack that this Metagross wants to go into, and we're just going to see if we can pull off the sweep. Here's Malmar time. We get the sticky webs to boost our speed. Knockoff coming out. Nearly KOs us. Good grief. Alright. We we're alive, though. Let's show him our knockoff as he is switching <laughs> he has every right to be switching right now Clefable coming out how much damage are we doing how much damage are we going to be doing here all right let's see uh malamar the star of this team almost gets ko due to a knockoff Due to a knockoff, and that's what we were trying to set up this whole time. <laughs> Double stab, knockoff onto the Fable. Doesn't do that much damage, but really and truthfully, we should. I don't think we KO though. I don't think we KO. Um. We could try and get into the Vaporeon situation and see if we can get a, um, a wish off. Definitely be a safer route, but getting Malamar back in after all that, that'd be tough. Let's go for the Terror Blast. I don't think we're powerful enough. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Go for stuff, right? Oh, actually, you already set that up. Go for something that's not Moonblast. Okay. <laughs> definitely a gimmick strategy. I'm trying to go for it, and it definitely right there backfired. All right. All right. Hey, the battle's still not over. We still have an Iron Boater <laughs> and a Volcarona that's paralyzed. So, I mean, it don't look good. It doesn't look good. Not at all. We could still put something asleep. We still have that ability with the Smeargle. So, I mean, I think we, we have to go into Iron Boulder here. Alright, we expect the Metagross to come back in. The safest play, I think, is to go for a Swords Dance here. 
Or maybe the earthquake. Let's go for a sword dance. Let's go for that sword dance. He stays in with the Clefable. Fable. He might be going for a Moonlight. Thunder Wave. Can you miss? Can you just miss sometimes? <laughs> all right, all right. Um, let's go for EQ here. We do outspeed and take out the Clefable. I find Merriman finally taking out a Pokemon. Woo! Everyone cheer, right? That whole strategy basically went up to smokes as soon as I seen that knockoff taken out. That much damage. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way. Alright. Mighty Cleave, the Hydreigon, Dark Post coming out. Do we live? We do not. We do not. We already lost our priority. Um... Vaporeon this. That's what we gotta do. We gotta just Vaporeon. I think I basically bit myself in the butt though. Getting sticky webs up on our side of the field. In theory and all that, it's a it sounds like a good idea. Getting Almar speed boost, but then you gotta realize, hey, guess what? You know, now everything else is also getting lower. But not every Pokemon gets affected by Sticky Webs, like this Metagross. He's not getting affected by Sticky Webs because of his ability, so now he becomes super fast. In a situation kind of like this, you know? Very interesting. I mean, it's still an interesting strategy. Something I definitely want to kind of keep playing around with. See how, if we can get some gimmicky kind of, kind of wins, but this Metagross right now is... is a pain, <laughs> is nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I still think there's a chance for us to win this game. We just have to kind of play it the right way. Pokemon to coming in, get the wish, get us back to full HP. We have to ride heavily on Volcarona. Let's go ahead and set up a Quiver Dance. Metagross is probably going to knock off, and if it does, then we have to stay in with Volcarona. Because it's going to hit us under half. Really and truthfully, I hope our flame body kind of activates too. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's the knockoff. Yep, it's over half. Flame body does activate though. Let's go. Alright, alright. I'll take a quiver dance. Give me the quiver dance. There you go. There you go. Timer is going to play a factor into this now. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, we fiery dance here. We fiery dance. And then we'll see what we can do. Metagross is switching. Okay. Hydreigon coming out. You're sacking off the Hydreigon? That Metagross has to be banded. It's gotta be, and it's got Bullet Punch. But it probably won't pick up a KO now. Because it's burning. Are you going back into the Metagross? Because if you are, Blastoids. Blastoids. Getting caught in a sticky web though. I like to see that. Maybe means that you're slower. I don't know. Either way, I have Giga Drain. I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it for the win, right? Volcarona cannot move because of being paralyzed. No! Rapid Spin. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know if that means he's now faster than my Volcarona. Because remember, Volcarona never took Sticky Web because of our heavy D boots. So the Blastoise is just now getting to neutral speed. We've got neutral speed because we went for Quiver Dance. I do believe we're faster. Fully paralyzed again? Dude. Ah, oh, we lost because. Two fully paralyzing lies in a row. Come on. <laughs> oh, that that's fun. That, that's fun, guys. Fair and balanced gameplay right there. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Okay, well, we rode it out the best that we could do. Let's go out 
with a bang. I'm gonna show him off what my last tech I got with a Smeargle real fast. Um, I got Burning Bulwark on this, and I honestly just want to see the animation. Why not? Uh, <laughs> at this point, yep, yeah, terrestrialization. I, you, you played a great game, and honestly, I probably played a little bit kind of poor. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's prob I probably didn't play my best game. Either way, it was still a blast. It was still a blast. Burning Bulwark coming out. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, attack me. Close combat. Let's go. That's funny. <laughs> oh, we've got him burnt. Smeargle doing stuff like a like he should. <laughs> We're gonna play it out. Let's go into the Vaporeon real fast. I like we're still playing, even though the timer is literally ticking above our head. Like, we have a shot at winning this now because your Tauros is burnt. Vaporeon is affected by the sticky webs, <laughs> and now Tauros will not pick up no KO against Vaporeon. Body Sun coming out, and it still picks up the KO even though the Tauros is burnt. <laughs> <laughs> good game Koosh good game hey it is what it is I hope you guys had a laugh with me in today's video because this was a fun battle nonetheless so definitely a gimmicky team on my end uh, Koosh had a more serious team and that sometimes things just happen like this um, but the best thing to do is have a laugh and had it we uh, definitely got owned but I mean we made the battle kind of interesting we made it interesting Hopefully you guys stick to the end and it's like, you know what, Wi-Fi Mirrorman, this was a good enough battle. I think I'm going to subscribe. Because <laughs> I promise you, I'm pretty competitive. <laughs> but sometimes I build these goofball kind of teams and it is what it is. Guys, if you guys are interested in this rental code, it's a lot of fun, I promise you. It's, it, is a, it is a fun team. Um, if you guys are interested, though, the rental code will be right it'll be next okay so here is the team like i said this team was it, it is a really fun team to use on showdown shockingly i got a lot of rage quits on showdown usually have to do like a court change combination with this miracle like sticky webs and they set up stealth rocks and um court change it and set it up again you know people don't like that sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, you're messing with my speed tier strategy, you know, um, it is what it is, it's fun, it's a mental thing, it's kind of fun though, um, also, don't court change, just sub, sub sticky webs, slows down everything, guess what, your Malamar probably will outspeed stuff then, hey, give it a shot, anyway, this is a fun team, um, if you guys are interested, you know, try out the teams, the code's in the top right hand corner, um, if you guys are also interested, I will greatly appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button. Did it glow when I said subscribe? Let me know in the comment section. It should be glowing. Um, but anyway, let me guys let me know if you guys know of any suggestions I could do to improve this team or any of my teams. I would greatly appreciate the information. Um, like always, this is Wi-Fi Marin signing out. Peace.